Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Beginner's Mind series. Our special guest today is living the message of being a beginner all over again, is living the spirit of uh, the beginner's mind um, in her life. She has taken upon herself um, to normalize career transitions in India. That's what her LinkedIn profile uh, says. And um, uh, she, her, one of her posts was viral on, the, um, on LinkedIn some time back. And we thought that we should invite her to have a conversation about one of the most feared areas in, in, in a person's professional life. And that is how to switch careers, how to reinvent yourself. Her LinkedIn profile goes something like this, describes her as retiring from career 1.0 as an engineer and beginning uh, another the career 2.0 MBBS at the age of 30 career transitions um, and we are so thrilled to have Akriti Goyal as her as our special guest today please join me in welcoming her with a virtual round of applause thank you so much Pleasure to have you here, Akriti, and thank you for joining us. Um, tell us, you, you, you're all over the news on LinkedIn. Um, there, 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 are, um, there are so many news about your major career transition. Uh, I believe you're one of the few people in India who have achieved this new landmark of first completing engineering and now um, enrolling to be a doctor. Talk to us about your journey, where it started, where you are today, and what lies ahead. Sure. Thank you. So uh, I'm an engineer from Bitspilani. I graduated mm -hmm. in 2015 mm -hmm. and uh, I have worked in a couple of uh, known tech startups in India for the last five years. And uh, last year I started feeling that uh, this is not enough. What I'm doing is not enough for myself. Mm -hmm. And I started questioning why am I even alive? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so that brought me back to my basic root of who I am as a person and I've always been somebody who wanted to do something more than just do their job I'm not a nine-to-five person I don't care much about money so I always look for satisfaction at the end of the day in whatever mm -hmm. I do and somewhere my corporate life wasn't fulfilling enough of course it was a lot of help from what I did but then I thought that no this is not enough and I started questioning that what is it that would really make me feel content at the end of the day when I go back to sleep. So mm -hmm. I revisited my childhood and uh, uh, thought to myself, what was it that I always wanted to do, but probably got lost in the way because mm -hmm. of variables that were not in my control or I was not smart enough to control mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, interestingly, I have always loved biology and human body very right. very fond of it uh, always wondered how the brain works always thought uh, okay it's so interesting that a heart is beating on its own and we are just sleeping you know mm. uh, so in ninth standard i was pretty much like hell bent on taking biology but i think when 10th standard came the typical indian journey where we are forced to decide between mm -hmm. medicine and engineering which is mm. very uh, i think am amateur as a career yeah. choice True. So i i I had a couple of friends and uh, a very influential cousin who was an IIT Bombay and uh, he was uh, doing engineering and he said that, hey, you know, your physics and maths are decent. Why don't you become an engineer? Why do you mm. want to be a doctor? It's too long. I These mean, influential co cousins, they raise the bar for you. No? <laughs> Always yeah. there's this influential cousin in the family you got, and there's like, mm -hmm, right. And to, uh, I believe it or not, being a female, there is so much of pressure to, you know, prove ourselves mm -hmm. at any point of time that, hey, you know, I'm not lesser than uh, the next door guy uh, right. that you are trying to praise. So I think that was a big FOMO in my head and I wholeheartedly accept it because there is no shame in that. And mm -hmm. I thought that if he can go to IIT, even I can. Why can't mm -hmm. I? Mm -hmm. So I, my, I think my brain and the rational thinking took over my passion at that point mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided that I will also be doing IIT no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's another you took story it as that a challenge. I, yeah, so yeah. IIT hasn't happened. I flunked IIT literally. I uh. did not hear it. Uh -huh. I flunked AI triple E exam at that time, but somehow I got into bits. So I thought, ki, huh, like you said, let me just do engineering. This is what yeah. I wanted. Right. So. Uh, fast forward to the fourth year where actually the most interesting and toughest subjects of engineering are taught. I realized mm -hmm. that uh, this is not my cup of tea. I mm -hmm. don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. 
but mm. then uh, you're already through something and you th- realize that okay you've spent 3 years why not just complete it big deal mm. mm-hmm. i went to flow but uh, i did not take up a very technical job i mostly invested my learning into learning how to do operations and you know management and uh, all sort of like overall management stuff in startups which is not even remotely related to the engineering knowledge per se right but so then, entirely new skill set from what you learn in college yeah i mean yeah. i did not sit for campus placements i opted out of it and i yeah we'd love to uh, take a deeper dive into that as well later on yeah please sure and uh, i applied to couple of startups and that's when my journey of i think self discovery and self confidence started because mm-hmm. when you take a decision by yourself out of the ordinary you're by yourself there's nobody right. there holding yeah. you back and uh, uh-huh. you are out there uh, 23 year old kid no idea what's happening and sure. it's scary, but then uh, the confidence it gives you oh my god uh, yeah. it's amazing this so yeah huge. that happened mm. and uh, i I did well in those startups. I succeeded in what I was doing. I was earning a lot of money. I had a lot of spotlight on me in all the companies I worked in. Yeah. A big team handle everything that everything mm-hmm. was there. You know, if somebody would look at me from Mars. They would say, "Wow, she's doing mm-hmm. great." That's the life. Uh, mm-hmm. That's the life. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody used to say, "Oh, आप यार मतलब बहुत ही आपका क्या ही है आपके पास तो सब कुछ है." And uh, picture perfect for that, others. Uh, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Picture perfect for others. And yeah, it's you know it's like a picture story, proper story, and then I mean you have everything, mm. and you are like a poster child for your parents, and uh, anybody would marry you. you right. What in India is about anything. Yeah. Anything. That's that's sadly <laughs> that's that that's the benchmark at times, right? And you know there is something missing, even though it appears perfect to others. You know there is something missing. Deep yeah, deep. I mean I there was something. off in whatever mm-hmm. i had and uh, a lot of times i started questioning that okay i should do something of my own probably mm-hmm. you know i am very passionate about uh, women empowerment okay and uh, i started I, mean, i tried starting up an ngo two three times in women's mm-hmm. space but it never took off uh, for some mm-hmm. reason and mm-hmm. uh, then i joined a company which uh, basically helped women or uh, deal with the uh, health issues mm. so that was my way of you know making myself content ki ha theek hai matlab at least i'm doing something it's right. okay it's right. fine yeah but uh, very interestingly uh, in the last two years that i spent at that startup i had a lot of interaction with doctors because okay. i used to handle a team team of doctors uh-huh. and uh, i used to hear uh, doctor and patient conversations okay and the impact that a doctor creates on a patient is something very different mm-hmm. uh, compared to what i was doing at the mm-hmm. sidelines looking at mm-hmm. that conversation mm-hmm. and i told one of the doctors that hey you know um, i also wanted to be a doctor mm. uh, she said that uh, okay so become one mm. why don't you become one? <laughs> yeah it's just like go buy one off the internet <laughs> order it from <laughs> amazon <laughs> right yeah. yeah i was in shock for a minute and i mm. said ki I'm already 28. I can't mm-hmm. do this. Right. <laughs> yeah, she said why not. And actually it struck me that she was right. Mm-hmm. It's just in my head that I am trying to tell myself things that I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Of course, I yeah. had to check the eligibility of the whole process because sure. I was aware that in India you cannot be a doctor after 25. Mm-hmm. So I thought okay, India mein nahi to bahar to shayad possible hoga because I know in west it's very uh-huh. common. right do this yeah. and it's like you know it's nothing mm. uh so yeah so so that happened and then uh, unfortunately i or fortunately i fell sick uh, in january 2020 mm. and this was uh, while you were working at the startup post graduation right okay yes, yes. right and uh, i had a major hormonal disbalance which mm. uh, kept becoming worse by the day because i did not pay attention to it and uh, you mm. know how it is I, i'm supposed mm. to work i don't have time for my health ye sab to hota yeah. rahega mm. and uh, march 2020 i think uh, threshold was crossed and i couldn't work so i quit mm-hmm. and uh, i decided to take a sabbatical not knowing what i would do next mm-hmm. and uh, in india it's a big uh, 
आई डोंट नो स्टिग्मा दैट वी कैन नॉट टेक अ करियर ब्रेक और इस सीवी पे गैप आएगा तो फिर हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट राइट बहाना क्या मारूं मैं क्या बहाना मारना चाहिए यू नो वी थिंक ऑफ एन एक्सक्यूज राधर देन द ट्रूथ राइट and at that time uh, lockdown was just imposed it was a coincidental timeline and uh, so i essentially have never worked from home okay uh, because the day lockdown was imposed i quit the next day right so you made the you and, enjoyed the best of it uh, binging on netflix and <laughs> good that's not nice really, not really i mean i'm a travel freak so okay. i thought that the perfect way would have been to travel across india but right. then i was stuck in my room alone in bangalore and it was a good so, time yeah. to travel with zero pollution and no traffic on the roads uh, provided they allow you to do that <laughs> yeah so no i mean i had a lovely time i think i i i actually started drawing i've never drawn in my entire life i oh, wow. picked up a new hobby okay. okay i mastered a bit more yoga i did uh-huh. a lot of exercise right. and i slept a lot a lot i think mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, it's catching up on lost sleep of all those years ah huh, kriti <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so yeah and uh, i think i was little i was blank i did not pressurize myself to mm-hmm. look up to what you know usually people are so afraid uh, simarjit that salary nahi aayi is mahine mm-hmm. we are so hung up on that fact and a lot of us are okay even without not getting salary for a month or two but it's the greed that whole i don't know that that mindset ki 30 tarikh ho gayi aur bank balance badha nahi wala jo mindset hai wo bahut hi addictive aur bahut hi greedy hai it's not even necessary half of the times right unless you are in a craving, major financial Yeah, it's a cra- craving for certainty. I believe, you know, deep down somewhere, we're so uncomfortable with. In conversations, we are uncomfortable with silence, and in life, we are uncomfortable with pauses. You know, and I, I believe, I don't know, it was Dr. Wayne Dyer who once said, "It's the pauses between the notes that create the music. Otherwise, yeah. it's otherwise it's a lo- loud, long noise, right? It's the pauses in between, and I think that's what's emerging from your from your story so far. Is that pause was really powerful." Yes, please. Yeah, you need mm-hmm. time to absorb what you have yeah. done. You cannot just keep going. I mean, sure. I used to feel that I need to keep going twenty four seven, but I was so wrong. And that sabbatical made me realize that life is not supposed to be lived like on mm-hmm. the edge, always mm-hmm. looking for a safety net. I mean, it's mm-hmm. too short. Look mm-hmm. at people around me. People are dying in COVID. What will mm-hmm. I do with so much success, fame, money? It's all mm-hmm. bullshit. Right. What will I do with it? So. Yeah, so that was a good break, and uh, I, I think I was feeling well in July uh, mm-hmm. after two three months, and mm-hmm. uh, then I started thinking, "Ki acha ab kya kare?" Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was very, uh, I don't know. There was this voice inside me which kept telling me, "Ki ab corporate to na ho pay." Bought kar liya, right? Yeah. Mm. People say. पांच साल में थक गए तू हम तो पंद्रह साल से नौकरी कर रहे हैं यही होता है ऐसे ही होता है है आपको करना है आप कीजिए आई डोंट वांट टू डू इट अनलेस इज नो अदर ऑप्शन टू फॉल बैक ऑन राइट सो देन आई थॉट टू माय सेल्फ कि व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट आई लाइक आई स्टार्टेड मेकिंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स Mm-hmm. and uh, i recently acquired this uh, new found respect for yoga as a profession yoga teacher okay. and i thought covid hai health pe itna focus hai mm-hmm. teleconsultation is on the rise everything can right. be done from home so okay. what if i become a yoga trainer what if oh, i wow. become a zoom instructor mm-hmm. because i love mm-hmm. yoga right mm, then i also uh, explored studying uh, gender studies from institutes like jamia millia because i'm very passionate about feminist issues and okay. some day i want to do something deeper in that mm-hmm. and uh, i also thought of studying law mm-hmm. i explored studying upsc so mm-hmm. i i took one to two days trying to get a feel of each of these things by looking at videos by looking at people doing these things by looking at the course work i had to do for you know each of these things i in fact studied for a complete day for upsc and okay. which is a very uh, you know expected path ki engineer kar liya hai to civil services right. karna right Tra- traditional wo jo step by step that's how it is right hmm that's what people ask me mbbs kyu kar rahe ho civil mm-hmm. services karo mm-hmm. na pagal mm-hmm. ho kya mm-hmm. <laughs> 
so yeah, i did that uh, civil service thing one day and i was like okay not happening dude this mm. is not my thing absolutely not happening so i okay. shut it down right so then i thought me there is a diff- there is a problem in my approach i am trying to build on things which i've already achieved uh-huh. i am trying to look at it from okay 1% is done how do uh-huh. i go to the 2% right 99% is done how do i reach 100 i've mm-hmm. already climbed the mountain mount everest half of the way how do i reach to the top mm-hmm. what if i don't want to climb that mountain anymore what if uh-huh. i want to come down right. what if i want to climb the k2 right you know mm-hmm. not the everest so, mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i mean it's mm-hmm. okay to leave things off way big deal what's the problem i mean you're so upset <clears throat> there's something that i read in this book called the art of thinking clearly by rolf dobelli and he's there's this thing he mentions there called the sunk cost fallacy which oh, usually yeah. which usually applies in stock markets but it applies to careers and businesses and so many things as well just the fact that you've come a long way doesn't mean you have to stick to it you know to prove something to others or that you feel that ah oh, you know now that i've covered all this lessons it's better to stick to it why not reinvent so what you're saying is you were the options you were considering were still somewhat in your safety zone you were not boldly stepping outside uh, at at this point of time yeah because right. of course i there is always this thought ki mummy papa kya bolenge how mm-hmm. do i explain log kya bolenge what if i fail you know right. and then i realize that it's all in my head what does mm-hmm. it matter i am just a speck in 7 billion people who mm-hmm. cares what i do mm-hmm. i care what i do you know a perspective Nobody... like that brings great humility i'm just a speck among 7 billion people great humility and yeah. then you really um get over yourself just like kobe bryant used to say get over yourself right uh, yeah. you can make mistakes right it's okay to fail why are we mm-hmm. so afraid of failing mm-hmm. i mean it's okay to fail but it's not okay to not come back from that failure right. you need to find a way to come back and do something else it's fine to fail mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, i thought that you know i always wanted to be a doctor and mm-hmm. there is this funny incident that happened in my house mm. uh, when i was in ninth class my mm-hmm. dad visited an astrologer typical indian uh, mm. mentality mm. ki is ladki ka kya hoga yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right and, and the guy said that uh, he is surgeon banegi okay so my dad started telling me standard that uh, you are good at bio i was good at bio and i was mm-hmm. good at memorizing things i loved mm-hmm. the whole concept of you know life mm-hmm. and uh, he said ki beta doctor because pandit ne bhi bola hai mm-hmm. so i was like just because the pandit has told i'm not going to be a doctor that <laughs> like <this is> so <laughs> right I, so that came that's always stuck to me that thought uh-huh. you know and uh, when the doctor told me in my last startup that why can't you do it so i thought ki okay let's try mm-hmm. this is stupid this is wild but let's try so mm-hmm. i opened the art book okay and uh, i read the chapter 1 right i understood only half of it like half of it went above my head because okay. it's been 10 years since right. i chose to study that book uh-huh. and around that time itself i actually contacted one of my uh, friends who's a career right. coach okay he did this very famous ikigai exercise which uh-huh. i would you know like to tell because this can really bring a different perspective to how you think about life so there sure. are four circles in ikigai mm-hmm. one circle is what you're good at the second circle is what you love to do the third circle is will it pay you money the fourth circle is what does the world get out of your career or your passion that you're trying to pursue mm-hmm. and so beautifully simarjit the medicine mm-hmm. career fits into this in my okay. case so okay. beautifully mm-hmm. there's not a single thought that i had to you know given that no doesn't fit it so fits well it's the only thing that didn't fit was i'm 29 mm. i'm supposed to be married <laughs> <laughs> right i what will i tell my mom mm. uh, what will i tell my dad what mm-hmm. will the society think will mm-hmm. i have the energy to be a doctor at 45 will i be right. able to stand in operation theater this is all just conjecture nothing right. substantial uh-huh. and i did it to shove it off i told myself that 
I will give hundred percent of my effort in the next fifteen days. I will try mm. to study hard without cribbing or whining about mm. the syllabus. Mm-hmm. If I'm able to do, it, that means I've got this in me even today. Mm-hmm. I haven't touched. I hadn't touched a pen for five years because mm-hmm. I was used to typing. It was mm-hmm. really hard. The, the mm-hmm. growth curve very steep. The learning curve was very very steep. It was not easy. I can imagine. And yeah, but I did it. It was like uh, wow. I was hooked to the YouTube lectures. I was looking at free lectures. I didn't want to spend money at that time, mm-hmm. and uh, I was literally hooked. It was like you know revisiting those childhood toys when you see them, and you're like, "Arey ha, ye to khelte the." Right. I like biology. This is my old childhood toy, and well done. Hats off to for for you scored very well. Um, tell us about when when the when the results of the examination came out. Um, the entrance examination. Well, I mean. Did it like cross surpass all expectations that you had, and what was your reaction to it? Would love to hear about your reaction at that moment. Sure. So, I'd like to tell you that uh, usually when the exam happens, the next mm-hmm. day they release the answer key, and you can always check your score and you can expect what you would get. I never mm-hmm. did that. I was so afraid. I'm a big coward when it comes to exam results. I decided to shove off the paper somewhere. Deep okay. down in my closet, and I did not calculate my marks. Everybody said that this is a foolish decision because that prepares you for what's coming next. You can take a drop, or you can, you know, prepare accordingly what college you'd go. But I didn't face the reality. They say no. Mm. Yeah, I was like, "Okay, okay, just like that. Okay, okay. Surprise, rakte hai. It's okay. Mm. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter." Mm-hmm. So I was taking tea for my dad, and uh, we were sitting, and result ka announcement nahi aaya tha officially. Okay. So they had okay. started emailing the scorecards. Right. And uh, suddenly I saw an email. I thought fake email होगा. खोल के देखा तो देखा कि score card है. And uh, I was like, oh shit. Okay. And then I saw that I've scored six seventy six out of seven twenty, and my All India rank was triple one eight. Wow. Oh my god. I cannot describe the feeling. It was triple one eight. First attempt. And this is you picked up books after ten years, right? Yes, and up. usually you need two years to prepare for the exam mm. because it's eleventh and twelfth. I did it in one year, so it was very, very hard for me. Very mm-hmm. hard for me. Mm-hmm. But I knew that I wanted to go to the best medical college, and I wanted to save somebody's life, and I want to look inside the brain how it looks. Mm-hmm. So why mm-hmm. not? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, uh, fantastic. Like uh, my so my parents were actually expecting somewhere around twenty thousand rank. We even. Mm-hmm. Uh, Put up a small bet, saying that okay, if you get below twenty thousand, we'll go out for dinner, and I, my dad would pay for it, and if okay. I get above twenty thousand, I would pay for it. So it was like you know, it was like a joke. कि हाँ हाँ कुछ तो मिल जाएगा तो मैं शायद ना भी मिले things like that. But it was uh, a huge day in my life because I think um, uh, it's a different kind of feeling when you are. You are, you know, able to do something that you like. That mm-hmm. opportunity itself is so amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Akriti, do, do you for a moment feel that this um, entire um, you, you weren't too serious about the exam? I, it was not like a life or death situation for you. It was a rather go with the flow sort of approach, if I'm understanding it correctly, right? As well as the results, there are millions of young students who. Um, um torture themselves mentally physically spiritually you youth suicide in this country are highest in the world especially when when for youngsters close to preparation for uh, competitive exams uh, do you feel that this happy go lucky will see what happens let me give it my best shot and you know i go with the flow and i'll take it a little bit easy on this i'll give my best but i'll not stress myself uh, over it do you think it helped in the entire scenario in hindsight Yes, so I always told myself that today I'll give my best. I'll not mm-hmm. think about what will happen tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I saw two COVID waves between my preparation, and mm-hmm. it was not easy. I was living alone, away from my parents, my family, okay. and okay. Uh, I had nobody. I was living mm-hmm. in a house all alone, and mm-hmm. uh, but I kept telling myself that what will happen? More and more. Not happen. Try to try. Big mm-hmm. deal. Mm-hmm. And. दोबारा भी नहीं हुआ तो कुछ और कर लेंगे लाइफ इज टू शॉर्ट एंड टू लॉन्ग एट द सेम टाइम आई मीन दैट सो मच टू डू टूडे लाइक आई डेंट इवन थिंक कि नहीं होगा तो मैं मेरा कुछ नहीं होगा इट्स ओके कैटास्ट्रोफी हो जाएगी हां राइट गुड 
I I've recently started a YouTube channel to give away my neat learnings, and a lot of people droppers they mm-hmm. come and comment ki didi four drop hai mera nahi hua to main kya karunga. Mm-hmm. I'm like look at me, I'm 29. Mm. I left a job which was paying mm-hmm. me well. I have nothing. Mm. I have ze- I've started from zero. My glass was full. I emptied it, mm. and then I have nothing. So mm-hmm. you have nothing to lose. You have only to gain. Big deal. It's just an exam. Those three hours don't define you. The problem right. with our education system is that no matter how good we are, we are supposed to perform in those three hours. Of course, the mm. it's not possible to be at your best during every three hours that is expected. Right. Agree. Agree. So on the end of life, I have seen yeah. people studying engineering and then doing a uh, painting as a full time thing. Like, and then it it doesn't matter. Like, mm-hmm. you would never know what you will end up doing. People who have studied MBBS have gone to do so different things. Mm-hmm. They're that's not even related to being a doctor. So it's okay. I mean, uh, just take it easy. Like, mm-hmm. don't listen to the negativity and. People will always come and say, "Ki, arey, uska dekho, wo gaya. Tumhara nahi hua. Tumhara kya hoga?" Comparisons. Cut, yeah. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. cut the comparison out. It's you versus you. It's not them versus you. There is no them in your life. It's you who have to define your identity. And everybody has unique paths, Imarji. Today, even if I become a doctor, I'll have a different specialization. And even in that, I'll be focusing on something entirely unique. Oh, who knows? You you could few years from now, after you graduate, you start practicing practicing medicine. You realize suddenly that gender equality thing has become more stronger. You want to pursue social service or public service or enter politics or um, uh, you know you want to be a teacher now that you want to share knowledge or a motivational speaker. Or uh, there are a thousand things. The entire challenge, what I'm sensing from what what you said, and you put it beautifully, is that we are condition to think uh, within the box which means okay these are my options and if i dare step away from them so huge social stigma is going to be there and i will fail you know and all those things and there's such a beautiful world out there with so many different dimensions that we can explore um, two things uh, stand out akriti from what you've said so far one is the spirit of exploration and i urge especially all youngsters who are watching right now your students or your mid career professionals wherever you are uh, don't let go of this spirit of exploration this why not you said that conversation with the doctor that triggered the why not Why can't I do it? Like, let, let me give it a shot. This why am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, again, is a powerful question. This what if scenarios? You know, as kids, we used to have this all imaginary games that we would play, and that's a what if uh, scenario. Do it today as well. What if I leave, do this, and I could do that? Don't let go of your power of imagination and of considering other possibilities that might be out there. A lot of us we commit this crime against ourselves is to really um, uh, accept what it is and take it that th- th- this is the reality. This is the only possible reality. There is nothing else out there. Refuse to accept a mediocre life or the one that you're not happy with, and then generate options and then explore. Take small steps. In your in your case, Akriti, you just mentioned you did not just uh, go sign up for coaching classes. You used YouTube, a free online resources. Now, a quick question here: If you were to do this all over again, now because I personally believe when when a, when a, in India when a student is in grade tenth, they do not have access to the resources, the time, or the people or the mentors to help them explore a variety of options. There's a lot of parental pressure, peer pressure, pressure from teachers, from the system to say, you know, these are the two three good options: be a doctor, be an engineer, be a chartered accountant. and to some extent aaj kal startup trending hai to you know okay right be an internet um, startup person but what's happening is uh, they don't get the time to explore those options then then they go into those traditional paths because that's what everybody else is doing the herd mentality and then they realize later on in your case akriti g- given another opportunity would you like to uh, rewrite the story would you have uh, picked medicine in the first place or do you think this diversion on the road of life has added to your experience to your depth and it has offered some profound life lessons honestly i would do it exactly the same way i've done because okay. it's about discovering what you love more than before you, if you don't know what you love you cannot do justice to it if i, I would have taken medicine at that point of time it would have just been a career decision for me i would have right. never been motivated to do what i am to do today like mm-hmm. i will not be a conventional doctor i will mm-hmm. have so much different 
perspective to bring into the field being an engineer it's not about me telling to be an engineer plus doctor my point is do what you want to do in that moment don't think about 6 years later kya hoga aaj to jee lo yaar matlab abhi to pehle kar lo don't mm-hmm. because life is so uncertain simrjit mm-hmm. like we don't mm-hmm. know what will mm-hmm. happen tomorrow all plans fail you cannot be like ki 30 mein ye karenge 35 mein ye karenge 40 mein ye karenge i know a lot of people who say that hey you know what i'll be retiring at 35 then i will study law and i tell that person ki why can't you study law right now right this right is, this is so wrong in hmm. mind you just keep telling ki main 40 mein ye karunga aaj kyun nahi kar dete ho tum ye aur aur so, akriti is a super hard working entrepreneurs that we met will say i'm going to retire at 40 be a millionaire at 40 and then sit at the beach i said well the beach is only a one hour flight away dude why don't you go now and enjoy the beach and a, a, a person of your temperament is going to be bored the second day sitting at the beach doing nothing <laughs> exactly Right. So, like, uh, हमें वो चीजें तब करनी चाहिए जब हमें पता है कि हाँ ये चीज करनी है जब जी. हमें डिसीजन आउट ऑफ कन्वेंशन लेने पड़ते हैं आउट ऑफ टाइम लाइन लेने पड़ते हैं ना तो उन डिसीजन में मजा नहीं आता है इमेजिन मी टेलिंग समबडी की हे यूर ट्वेंटी एट गेट मैरिड एंड पर्सन ठीक है ढूंढ दो कोई अब क्या बोल रहे हो आप find somebody but imagine you find that person <laughs> yeah, go to shadi.com one of those matrimonial <laughs> sites right <laughs> Like we want to be that uh, mandir me line me chalne wale log ki ha ek ke piche ek ke piche ek aise hi jayenge aur usi exit se bahar aa jayenge. You know we we are so streamlined and so conventional in thinking this and we actually ridicule somebody who does not follow the convention. You know why? Because we are afraid to not follow that convention, so we criticize the other person. Ki ha ha, tum to yehi. करते हो, because hey you do not have the courage to do this, that is why you criticize it. Right, right. right. You get that all sort of I labels. Know. You get called uh, unstable. This person is not able to make up their mind. ये decisive नहीं है, you know. And what we don't realize is कि ये decisive है, इसीलिए change कर रहा है. Indecisive होता, तो ये अभी तक उसी चीज़ में फंसी होती, जिसमें पहले फंसी थी. He would have been stuck there. This person is decisive, and not only decisive, they act on their dreams, and that's the most important thing. I'll tell you my story. After I, I was uh, third in the district where I. studied in the in my school in batala district gudaspur and the school principal my mom and dad were busy doing whatever they were doing and result i after that the school principal said look you know you have scored very well beyond the expectations of the teachers and um, here's um, you know here's your admission thing and you're studying non medical uh, fees aa jayegi ghar se ye slip le jao aapka non medical mein admission ho gaya i said okay fine you know you know you don't bother about these things uh, at that age as much at least back in our time we didn't used to so i went home i told mom i said this is what ma'am principal was saying and um, she said you're a bright kid and this is what you should i feel you should be doing and the admission is done she said okay fine my mom was a professor akriti and uh, what she did was she brought home next day this huge stack of books right uh, f- for me to study और उस बुक्स में जैसे मैंने आई ग्लांस थ्रू दैम एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई इनकरेज यंगस्टर्स टू डू व्हेन यू आर एट द क्रॉस रोड्स ग्लांस थ्रू द स्टडी मटेरियल मीट दोस पीपल वॉच दोस वीडियोस गेट अ फील ऑफ इट सो आई ग्लांस थ्रू दोस बुक्स और उसमें मुझे अपना जानी दुश्मन मिल गया राइट माई जानी दुश्मन वॉज एक्स uh suppositions right and i'd always be, I, i had always this feeling you know when this x algebra this entire x business comes in i'm not too comfortable with that i'm more of a logic guy i'm more of a linguistic person more of a people person right so this whole imagine this so I, i've said anyway i said okay now that admission ho gaya let me go give this a try so my next thing my mom says uh, oh you know that famous professor in the city uh, sab log wait karte hain uske tuition pe jane ka i've secured a spot for you your physics tuition is 4 a.m. in the morning or 4:30 a.m. in the morning. Now I had never gotten up so early. Not an <laughs> early morning person. Back then, I definitely was an early morning person. Anyway, I dragged myself to that tuition 4:30 uh, a.m. and here are all the bright kids of the city sitting there intently trying to figure out if a sound wave is launched from planet Earth. At, uh, you know, at this time, how much time will it <laughs> go take to go to uh, Moon and bounce back? And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, this stuff is not making sense to me at all. <laughs> So, <laughs> what I did was uh, now the city I grew up in, or maybe the company thi us time. My mom was a little concerned, and I said, "Look, mom, this I, it's not appealing to me." And she was very helpful. She said, "Let me go and introduce you to some people." So there was this professor of accounts, very nice gentleman. He said, "Look, you know, take these books home: management theory and practice of management, basic accounting, etc., etc." I said, "Fine." 
just go through them and um, it's no no harm my commerce was looked down upon back then we uh, i still is today commerce and humanities right it's like science nahi mila to commerce le lo beta right exactly yahi mindset aur ye kya karega aage nobody in our family is now i come from a family of medicos my grandmother oh. was a doctor my sister is a dentist so many doctors all specialties we have in the family so already i'm going off track I'm, i did not opt for medicine there and then now this whole commerce business is now this is where something interesting happened akriti i thought i was not good at mathematics i was wrong yeah. i opened the accounting book and it made perfect sense to me A hundred rupees come into the business. You spend sixty. There's forty left. There is no X. I was like, wow. <laughs> This was my wow moment. <laughs> I opened the next book, Frederick William. I, I, I'm one of these old management thinkers. Theory and practice of management. You know the old book uh, that was um, CBSC or whatever it was back then. I read half the book in a one sitting, and it made perfect sense to me. Right. So I went back to this professor. I said, "These subjects are intuitively making sense to me. I don't know what lies ahead, but I'd like to go for this." I did well, and that was a turning point. The next turning point came then after two years in commerce. I gave the hotel management exam. I cleared it. Now, now <laughs> my my grandmother said before seeing me off, "Ha, ye hi hona tha. Mera pota ek din, mera pota behra banega, or behra banega, waiter banega, right?" So, ah, hmm. and for some of my friends these uh, guys i was friends with that said don't worry you know my dad has a lot of money you to hotel management kar raha hu and when you come back i'll open a hotel simarjit and i'll hire you as the manager okay. i said i've heard you everybody says this ki main hotel khol lunga to baad aa raha right and then there the are folks in my city it was a small town i grew up in small border town batala district gurdaspur many had no idea ye hotel management hai kya ab ye cooking karega kya karega ye, ye us doctor ka doctor kailash kaur ka grandson hai kya karega kya ye kya hotel man interesting part next turn comes on the journey hotel management we did we i appeared for taj interviews obra i did reasonably well the first call center in india had opened at that point of time akriti the g capital international services one of the first back, back then i'm talking 1999 i was selected to to do calling to the us and now this is another news going around town he's working for g to wo to light bulb company hai wo to light bulb banate hain tum unne hotel management kiye people could not put this together they had such a hard time and i think this is what is emerging from your story also um is to think creatively you never know how your career is going to come together in beautiful things 2007 i left my hospitality career built very carefully over the 11 years working with top hotel companies in the world i said um, just like you is a following my heart either i want to serve i want to contribute i want to share my knowledge pack my bags came back to india and started this entire journey and <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, similarities there but i'm glad you said that you you would not like to change a thing because uh, even the wrong decisions matter and i agree with that going off track no, helps there's nothing wrong i think mm-hmm. uh, we all tend to say ki galat ho gaya decision galat nahi ho sakta aapko us samay wo chahiye tha na there mm-hmm. is nothing wrong in any decision you should be yeah. okay with the result that's about mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. there should be no The whole problem is that we start regretting if we don't have hundred x output in anything. I said, "Thodi hota hai life mein." Even mm-hmm. investor invests in hundred startups and ninety uh-huh. nine fail. That yep. doesn't mean that the wrong decision. That's probability. That's mathematics. That's mm-hmm. bound to happen. Mm-hmm. So you should be okay with the outcome. Is what I'm saying. And any decision that you take with your own um, accountability is fine, as long as. uh you're able to bear with the results mhm now i agree with that that uh, d- don't call it wrong call it a journey of your evolution call it a journey of maybe you went off track you feel or, or you know or you cannot see how it makes sense uh, but it all fits in i want to talk about your work ethic akriti uh, your work ethic more specifically your study ethic because uh, i'm sure that would have a huge role to play uh, because the just the sheer number of hours for you to put in um, and the switch the change that happened you know putting in 10 hours in a startup environment so thrilling i know it's hands on so many things happening you're launching new things there's pr there's social media there, you're doing so much now leaving all that and sitting alone in a room with you and books and studying for an 
unknown exam that is really new to you i'm sure there must be a huge uh, leap of faith there so two things up uh, please help uh, if you can speak to us on that one is your what what kept your self motivation your drive high during this uh, solitude during this lonely period and number 2 talk to us about your work ethic especially dealing with distractions because that's a huge challenge these days focus on the goal okay there'll be thousand variables there'll be thousand problems but what mm-hmm. is the biggest problem you're trying to solve i kept myself reminding i reminded myself every day that i have mm-hmm. to go to delhi aims no matter what happens oh wow covid aa gaya कुछ हो गया मम्मी से लड़ाई हो गई पेरेंट्स नाराज हैं भाई बीमार है चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए गोल से मत हटो बिकॉज यू नो व्हाट व्हाई यू आर आर डूइंग एंड इम्पोर्टेंट राइट ऑफ कोर्स नथिंग इजी सिमरजीत व्हेन अ माउंटेन क्लाइंबिंग गाय माउंटेन क्लाइम्स अ माउंटेन देर इज हेल स्टॉप स्नो स्टॉम डजेंट मैटर ही स्टिल एमिंग फॉर द पीक राइट एंड यू मे डाय while climbing the mountain but it's not a problem i mean you should know what you want every day sometimes we forget why we started you know mm. uh, and we get so lost in the background noise that hum bhool jate hain ki humne shuruaat kyun ki thi kisi cheez ki mm-hmm. agar wo per strong nahi hai to aap definitely distract hoge agar aapne koi cheez zabardasti li hai ya fir aapne pressure mein li hai ya fir aap koi cheez kar rahe ho out of obligation Mm-hmm. तो आपको हमेशा डिस्ट्रैक्शन फील होगा बट अगर आपको ये चीज पता है कि आप कोई चीज क्यों कर रहे हो तो mm-hmm. अंदर से यू विल यू विल हैव फायर एंड यू विल नॉट इवन नीड मोटिवेशन सो देर वर डेज व्हेन आई वाज वेरी वेरी लोनली इमेजिन मी गोइंग फ्रॉम टॉकिंग टू हंड्रेड पीपल अ डे बिकॉज आई यूज टू हायर अ लॉट ऑफ टीम्स एंड आई वॉज हेडिंग ऑपरेशन एंड माई होल डे वॉज लाइक स्पेंड विद पीपल सडनली लॉकडाउन में वो भी फोन पे इंटरक्शन वो जीरो क्योंकि पढ़ाई करनी है तो क्या फोन कुछ नहीं मतलब था भी नहीं इन माई प्योर ग्रुप एवरीबडी इज डूइंग समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट वर्किंग दे हैव डिफरेंट जॉब एंड नो बडी न्यू एक्चुअली दैट आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग फॉर मेडिसिन तो मैं क्या डिस्कस करूंगी किसी से So, can you see it? What was this? Did you keep a secret from from your colleagues that did you want to surprise them or? I told my parents after I paid for my classes fee after oh. the fifteen days experiment okay. because mm. I wanted to uh, you know tell them after I was really sure about it mm-hmm. and otherwise they would have said that kabi tum ye karti ho, kabi tum wo karti ho. <laughs> right, right. So, which go- goes yeah. again to say that make up your own mind first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. I informed my parents after I paid the fee for my coaching class because mm-hmm. I wanted to let them know how serious I was about mm-hmm. it. And uh, when you pay eighty thousand for a coaching class fee, mm-hmm. you're not kidding. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I used to not discuss much with them because uh, I wanted to let my results speak. Because sometimes, sometimes, it happens that you are doing well for three hours, and in three hours, your performance didn't come out for mm-hmm. any reason. Mm-hmm. तो फिर वो बात हो जाती है कि हाँ हमें तो पता ही था लगा ही था बोला ही था mm-hmm. मुझे वो सब सो यू इमीडिएट फीडबैक नहीं चाहिए मुझे एनवायरनमेंट से अभी आई यू कैन होल्ड इट सो इट्स लाइक मुझे फर्स्ट खुद स्ट्रांग आई मीन आई कैन वेट फॉर दैट एक्सटर्नल फीडबैक बिकॉज दे कैन नॉट सी वट यू कैन सी Exactly. The problem mm-hmm. is ना हम हर स्टेप पे वैलिडेशन सीख करते हैं right. सर ये में ये बना दिया ये ठीक है क्या सर ये नेक्स्ट स्टेप ठीक है अब मैं ये कर लूँ अब वो कर लूँ Mm-hmm. You don't need external validation for a lot of things in life. If mm-hmm. you know what you're doing, it's fine as long as you're ready to take accountability for your own actions. Uh-huh. And uh, me, it was so I was actually doing very well in my classes test. Like I used to score rank one in my class all the time. But I never really told them a lot about it because I didn't want to get their hopes high. Mm-hmm. and uh, my own validation was more than enough at that point to keep me going i failed in a lot of tests i scored less also in my full test but that's okay i never kind of wanted to seek an external help at this point of time because i thought ki let me do this myself because thodi si bhi pareshani aayegi to there is a common perception ki are bola tha difficult hai ha ho gayi the people try to amplify that negativity and people sure. don't tell you that you know you need to keep going there are very few people who will tell you ki ha it's okay to you know fail people will mostly say ki chhod do kuch aur kar lo i know, you know? quit quit at the first sign of trouble ji ha mm-hmm. to mujhe wo chahiye hi nahi tha 
I didn't want to bother anybody about it. So I kept it pretty much to myself, except two, three people I knew very closely. And okay. it was a silent journey that I did. And uh, right. yeah, so so it was it was tough. It was very tough for me. Uh, and now, honestly, I've got used to that silence so much that. I don't think I can go back to a startup and you know be like, "Ha, one call is coming, another call is coming." So it's all about adaptation. I mean, it takes time, but you have to persevere through. You know, you have right. to be resilient. There is Absolutely. no other option. It's my choice. I did it by choice. Nobody told me, right? So I cannot crib about it. I don't like the fact that people say that Monday blues are coming. Thank God it's Friday. Arey, so change karlo na job. I mean, why are you so fashionable about frustration? Why can't you do something about it? <laughs> I love that. Why are you fashionable about frustration? No, I mean we are so like uh, we are so hell bent on telling the world that hey, my job sucks. I've never met. A lot of people who have said, "Wow, I love my job, dude. Why don't you do something else?" Rarely, yeah. Huh? Why don't you do something else? Mm-hmm. People tell me presentation banana hai. Mera boss ye hai. Main wo hu. To chhod do na. To me. You know, one of the hai. reasons why is whining is a whining and alcohol are two of these social uh, things that draw people together. Well, <laughs> I, I, this I is my belief, right? The birds of the same feather flock together. They, they are like, really? You too think the world is a miserable place? Come on, brother. You know where were you? <laughs> right. We are, we are so, uh, I don't know, hell bent on sabotaging our own lives. We mm-hmm. feel that misery is good. You know, this is mm-hmm. what is supposed to be. We celebrate the misery. Oh, it's okay. 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 Brewing our own shit. Yep. Dude, this is not, not the way life is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You need to find a career which makes you feel like going to work every day. The moment you feel that you do not want to get up, please, this is a red alert, and this is where you need to look back and. Probably take a break and think what you want to do next. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, well said. I completely agree with that. Look for the red flags. Take a break. Have the courage to do the course correction. Now, Akriti, I'm I'm going to pick up. Um, you uh, there was this uh, piece that was published on you in Times of India, uh, which I'd like to refer to you. And we had some. I'm just going to pick some of the top comments here, which one of them is very relevant to what you're saying right now. That you said, okay, if that didn't work out for me, I, I t- took a step back. I reinvented. Now here's this person who says, lucky girl, maybe. She She has a good family financial background. So, would you like to speak to that uh, in terms of the financial um, sort of repercussions of this decision? So, I've always been a huge minimalistic. I don't own anything. I mm-hmm. own a certain pair of clothes. I do not have any asset. In the last seven years, I have not bought anything that will not fit in a small bag. Very mm-hmm. honestly, mm-hmm. Simran, because. For me, financial independence always came first, and okay. not just today's financial independence. Saving for the future, saving for a day when I would take a decision based on my own uh, willing power, and I would want to do it no matter who stood by me. Mm-hmm. And just to tell you, and just to tell those people, mm-hmm. dude, I'm not going to take a single penny from anybody. I'm going to finance my entire MBBS on my own, and I say this with a lot of. Humility, as well as a lot of proudness, because sure. in India, we assume that a woman specifically is mm-hmm. supposed to take father's money, and then mm-hmm. hey, you know, the husband will provide it for mm-hmm. us. It's always like that, and I am mm-hmm. going to change that. I want to really bring this message out that you are narrow-minded. A woman mm-hmm. can do anything, and we we all need to save for ourselves, not for somebody else, because the day you have that capital to do what you want mm-hmm. is actually the definition of success absolutely the liberty to do what you want right yes. mm-hmm. i i do not want to be dependent on anybody mm-hmm. i mean tomorrow it's possible that i may not love mbbs lot of people say that ki pata chalega isko doctor banke kya hota hai uske bare mein bhi baat karenge abhi detail mein <laughs> but Haan. i just want to if if i could if i could interrupt there for you second for a second and say it uh, we are now in a culture driven by influencers driven by social media driven by consumerism that was popular in the west now west is going more towards minimalism i just spoke to joshua becker the other day one of the leading thought leaders in the world on min- minimalistic living 
yeah, wonderful guy, and so many things were very relevant. But now, since he, here now the issues of credit card debts and so many other things are coming in, try to be better and to show your personality by the labels you wear. Akriti, that's a huge trend, especially for when folks get their first job. The sign of I have arrived is is ka jo the, the the announcement you make is by the lifestyle you lead and the labels you buy and where you spend your money, where you holiday, and how those photos look on Instagram, which is the big impediment to why youngsters are not able to save money consequently not able to do what they want to do speak to us uh, about that uh, phenomena please that youngsters often fa- go through so we are we are in this greed cycle of showing ourselves on instagram and uh, we want to we all want to go to maldives and you know mm. wear the rolex watch and <laughs> get some thousand likes on our photos and mm. uh, i think that is the biggest problem we are mm, we are not doing weddings to celebrate our partnerships we are doing weddings to have an instagram corner and and get those i don't know how many shares and likes on that video it's so useless because that instagram photo will not make you content when you go back to sleep that's mm-hmm. not how you measure your life your life is me- me- measured by what you do during the day and what have you achieved for yourself during that day and honestly samadit uh, you would not believe i i don't care what people think about my clothes uh, people tell me ki aapka dressing sense to bahut hi kharab hai i'm like dude if you're so worried about my dressing sense then please don't be my friend because i don't need such kind of people in my life and uh, you're welcome to walk out and i have burnt a lot of friendships because people thought that i did not fit into their you know circle of uh, show wow. off Jeep. i do not not a single moment i have cared i went to a wedding recently because it was my best friend's wedding and i went in sneakers and they were dirty because <laughs> i didn't have time so, so that's the kind of life i lead i do not care about my experience and courage to be yourself mm-hmm. yeah i mean why are we so afraid to stand out we all just want to blend in in that culture and you know wo maldives gaya hai wo phuket gaya hai wo thailand gaya hai are jaane do na yaar tumko kahan jana hai tum wo socho why can't you just be happy going to a nearby park if that is what gives you happiness right, why right. are we so hell bent on moving ourselves uh, to the and, world yeah and uh, um, you know what you said there about um ye endless cycle hai that there's no you can never once you get those thousand likes on that one photo what's going to be the next one it's a downward spiral uh, at the cost of money or some money is you've traded time to earn money if you if you're giving it away for the superficial stuff and let me t- say here i uh, i love money i'm not against the idea of wealth and abundance right but when you when you spend it on the wrong stuff in a sense you're spending your life on the wrong stuff because you traded your life to earn that money in the first place i mean uh, we look at money so i mean money is like status for us you know a lot of people ask me ki aapka to bahut zyada salary tha uh, why did you quit kam paise mil rahe the kya so so we are we are judging everybody by the by the bank balance that they hold and right. uh, everything is about the bank balance nobody asks you know i've never asked how i've never heard yeah nobody yeah. asks me how happy i am people mm. just ask ki aapka job title kya hai ab mm. kitne paise kamate ho yaar do mm-hmm. ask me if i'm happy or not how mm-hmm. does that matter mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean have you seen a monk he does mm. not earn well and oh my god the mm. kind of happiness and contentment in their life i, I I'm in awe of those people. How they are able to give away everything. I'm not mm-hmm. saying being a be be a monk. At least be a monk in your head. Know where is your boundary and don't mm-hmm. overstep on your boundary. Because the moment you get inside that vortex of greed, mm-hmm. you keep spinning, and there yep. is very few outlets to come out of it. So mm-hmm. you should know where to draw the line. It's okay Absolutely. if somebody. Maldives it's fine it's not going to make them sleep better at night 
you know that's their life if they're happy with that agar wa- and, and and the problem is with most people now i'm not the, with most people they would still not end up fulfilled from that experience kyunki unhone uska natural beauty enjoy nahi kiya they were not there they were not present the whole thing was oh my god you know i lost internet connection for one hour and what's going to happen to all the photos that i posted or why does she always leave a negative comment or you know i scrolled through she's liked everybody else's photograph mera photo nahi like karti hai yaar you know so we your mind is still back in india or with your friends you're not in maldives you're not enjoying the natural beauty so neither ke na udhar ke or uh, i love what you said ki aap apne baju wale park mein ja ke you could have a great time uh, if if enjoying nature and if unplugging is something that you wanted to achieve in the first place um, well said there well said well, shall we take the next question on the in in that article uh, which said um, it goes like this lol she thinks lol. <laughs> engineering is stressful uh, and her startup career was stressful wait until she enters medicine what you, would you like to say to that akriti Oh I think a lot of people are really burning in this country obviously right <laughs> now that's so whatever you want to call it and I mm. really don't give a crap so mm. point is that uh, yes I was stressed but mm. I believe in my things emerge that mm. I'm not afraid of uh, working 14 hours or 16 hours or 18 hours it's about mm. what i'm doing in those 16 hours matters to me exactly. i get stressed when i'm spending 16 hours or something that i'm not excited about anymore i was excited about it 3 years back 2 years mm-hmm. back 1 year back but there came a time in my life where i stopped being excited about it uh-huh. and that's how simple life is you know we or should have be. the child's mindset mm. child like my childish mindset child like mindset mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where curious about doing everything and we just drop things in between and start doing something else abhi hum khel rahe hote hain abhi hum so jate hain abhi hum kuch aur karne lag jate hain we switch toys we grow out of things why can't we do it as adults i mean absolutely i love uh, one thing about life which naval ravikant says mm-hmm. and i am an I ardent follower of him yeah yeah mm. life is life is too short and we have to do so many things mm-hmm. and specialization is for insects not for humans <laughs> and guarantees are for appliances not for careers <laughs> and exams <laughs> Uh, yeah i love that specializations are for insects and you know you mentioned this childlike attitude um, uh, and the akriti the other day was my younger daughter's birthday and we she had invited her entire class in uh, she's very social you know very uh, so she said every every most of the kids came and they were in this place the in the play area zone and they were having the time of their life and i just sat there for half an hour just absorbing their energy and the fun and the enthusiasm and the games and i uh, thought to myself I'll be hard pressed to find anywhere on this globe a bunch of grown-ups having this much fun indoors in 30 minutes with their friends because we so caught up our whole idea of growing up is letting go of this inner child who wants to dream again explore again learn again we don't give ourselves permission in this false notion of I have to be mature or I have to act like this etc we lose our childlike innocence and charm I'd like to add one thing. Uh, mm-hmm. You should live life as if tomorrow is your last day, and you should ask yourself what I would rather do today. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not saying sit at home, do nothing, and waste your time. Mm-hmm. But if you really are looking for that answer in your career, कि कल अगर मेरा आखरी दिन है और आज मेरी जिंदगी खत्म हो जाएगी, तो आज मैं क्या करना चाहूँगा? जी. And that's where you have the most of your answer. Indeed, I I agree with that. That that's what helps you to course correct. Uh, we published a video some time back on on based on a book which was called the Five Regrets of Dying People. Number one regret of dying people is I wish I had the courage to lead a life true to myself. I wish I had the courage to lead a life true to myself, not what other people expected from me, not what other people wanted from me. And yet, that is the biggest cage ever. is the expectations of other people so i think slowly gradually develop that courage akriti this has been a wonderful conversation thank you so much for for your time for sharing your wisdom you. and your <laughs> experience thank you likewise and i'm sure that everybody who tuned in is is going to learn a lot as well before we let you go speak to us from a female's perspective uh, please um, in india 
about um, career reinvention and following your heart because we in this country sadly still operate with different checklists different expectations for men and women uh, and we I, i personally feel we lose a lot of talent in the process speak to us from that perspective please yes to women uh, is get educated get financially independent mm-hmm. and do not let anybody tell you what you should be and should not be doing there are a lot of people out there they're on twitter telling me ki iski shakal itni kharab hai ki ab isse koi shaadi nahi karega uh, because she's going to be a doctor at 35 and nobody will actually want to marry her super this shallow the way we discourage mm-hmm. women in this country and this tells me how backward we are in this country and how much work is spending to actually tell people that gender is not important when it comes to career people tell me that you want to have kids you want to have, marry how will you do that how will you do this why is it so important to have kids or get married i mean there could be people who do not want to do that why can't there be an acceptance for females who do not want to follow convention why does every female have to give birth what's yeah, the problem we are already the most populous uh, one of the second most populous yeah. country in the world right bachcho ki kami nahi hai waise bhi kahan se tum baloge itne bachche khana rahe hain desh mein and there are hmm. so many orphans go adopt somebody why i mean it's so i think to each their own people should mm-hmm. do what they want there should not be any conventional pressure ki are 30 mein shaadi nahi hogi 33 mein nahi hogi 35 mein nahi hogi you need to come on that Mm-hmm. and as females i think we are we are too quick to feel guilty as females that humne nibhaya nahi kartavya guilt you know? mm-hmm. and uh, need to come out of that guilt you're just a human you just mm-hmm. have a different body structure that's about mm-hmm. it and you are mm-hmm. emotionally more stable than a usual man that is scientifically proven you have better emotional question use that to your benefit and i think women can do so much better in so many different areas than men but we are just so bound by our own family values tradition values fine keep the tradition but why kill your ambition ambition mm. is great tradition i think and they can and coexist who says they can't coexist they yeah. can coexist we but women can have it all i think i can have it all mm. i do have it all <laughs> well you do indeed you do indeed and I, i and i think at the core lies the courage to say life is not working out the way i wanted it to and i'm going i'm not going to uh, settle for anything less i'm going to take a pause here and i'm going to figure out a way and once you commit that there's ought to be a way you find one you know don't we yeah, as kids if we wanted a toy or something from our parents we would find a way to blackmail them <laughs> manipulate them <laughs> and we we would lie on the floor and we would you know cry you for our huh. why can't we do that now yep. late jao na zameen pe aur bolo huh. ki yahi karenge nahi huh. karenge aur aur zaruri nahi ki parents ke sath late na kabhi khud ke against bhi late na hai sabse pehle to khud ke against late na hai kyunki as you said wo salary ka nasha i i i read this um, uh, on the internet somewhere the two of the biggest addictions on this planet are nicotine and a paycheck right <laughs> to wo wo खुद का सबसे पहले आप ब्लेम करते हो और सर्कमस्टांसेस को पेरेंट्स को काउंसलर नहीं थे गाइडेंस नहीं थी यार लुक यू ड्राइव अ मर्सिडीज बेंस ई क्लास यू लिव इन द टॉप पॉश एरिया ऑफ गुड़गांव और बेंगलोर और हैदराबाद एंड यू आर अ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एंड यू आर ऑन अ सिक्सटी लैक प्लस पैकेज यू वेंट टू हार्वर्ड बिजनेस स्कूल फॉर योर समर प्रोग्राम एंड यू आर डिसफाइड विद योर करियर ड्यूड इफ देर इज समबड़ी हु इज वेल इक्विप्ड टू मेक अ मेजर चेंज इन योर करियर इट इज यू Ooh, you are you are the one percent of this country you're the one percent of this country in terms of uh, finances and uh, access to resources tum nahi kar sake kaun karega wahi to hai na agar main nahi karungi to i think i'm really well equipped to do that given that i have my own savings i have internet what else do i want main wohi keh raha hu kuch logon ki genuine financial restrictions ho sakti hain 
कि उसके चाहने के बावजूद उसमें कैपेबिलिटी होने के बावजूद दैट पर्सन कुड नॉट टेक दैट प्लंज बिकॉज ही आर अ सिक फादर और सिक मदर एट होम टू टेक केयर ऑफ यर सिबलिंग्स टू ही और शी हैड सिबलिंग्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ एंड एंड गिवन द फैक्ट कि मैं उनको भी यही कहूँगा आप पोस्टपोन कर लें आप कैंसिल मत करें अपने प्लान री इन्वेंशन के आप पोस्टपोन कर लें वक्त हमेशा एक सा नहीं रहता अगर आज आपकी फेवर में नहीं है कल अलग होगा तो उस पर पूरा कांटा मत मारें उस ऑप्शन के कि ये हो नहीं सकता रिकन्सिडर इट मे बी वेन यूर फाइन वेन यू आर लिटल बिट बेटर ऑफ और यू नो लुक फॉर हेल्प दिज ऑलवेज स्कॉलरशिप्स अवेलेबल दिज फंडिंग अवेलेबल दिज सो मच हैपनिंग बट डोंट गिव अप ऑन दैट होप एंड टू द वंस हु आर वेल इक्विप्ड I think I'd like to say to them that have that courage to step away. This whole minimalism thing that Akriti was talking about—it's not only about your new purchases or gadgets or clothes, etc. It's also about practicing detachment from your lifestyle as well. Practicing detachment from your current social circle because guess what? When you reinvent yourself career-wise, you lose friends. You you move in a different circle, and unko suddenly lagta hai ye badal gaya. When I I stop drinking alcohol for a period of two year, you know, a complete no. no alcohol thing for 2 year to do a major detox akriti i lost a lot of friends because they stop inviting me to their parties ki yaar ye to banda ab baat kaise hogi bore karega hame but of course <laughs> you know and i told them look over a coffee or a soft drink as well main utni baat kar leta hu ye daru tumhe chahiye bolne ke liye you know uske <laughs> फ्लैग बेर द टॉर्च बेर टेलिंग स्पेशली यंग गर्ल्स आउट देर दैट डोंट सेटल फॉर समथिंग लेस दिस ऑलवेज there's always possibilities if you explore them thank you so much thank you bye 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 so i hope uh, um you enjoyed that conversation there with uh, akriti goel who shared her story her drive her vision for the future her driving values her work ethic and so many other things i just wanted to um, capture some of the key takeaways from uh, our conversation with her today based also on my journey i did feel there were a lot of similarities start by whoever's feeling stuck right now and you want to reinvent yourself professionally you feel there is something better out there for you number 1 start by believing that there are better options that exist out there that's the number one thing i believe start by believing that you don't have to remain stuck where you are today that there is with creativity with innovation with a um, fresh thinking that you can create a customized option that you would enjoy as a career as a profession for the rest of your life so start start with this then number 2 before you take the big leap explore and learn more about these options go and meet the people who are uh doing what you would like to do um go watch youtube uh videos go read books go attend courses go attend seminars go attend conferences uh and then you'll be in a better position to see whether this is something your new career uh the new profession that you're choosing would be something that you would like to um follow through with because there are going to be good and bad things there's going to be things that you will enjoy they they'll they are going to be things that you will not like and you need to be aware of both these things before you leave what you're doing today and take a big jump number 3 financial discipline especially in uh, your early 20s uh, early 30s the this is the time that you are likely to go off track and spend more than you're earning and not build a solid foundation financially this is the time also if you can exercise financial prudence set money aside um and then you have what money should really bring to all of us freedom freedom to do what you want to do freedom to pursue what you want to pursue as a living so stop spending on the frivolous superficial stuff save money uh in your early 20s and 30s that in case you need to undertake a major career change that you have the financial wherewithal the financial capacity to do so uh, so f- saving is one at the same time not adding huge liabilities in your 20s um, and 30s is also uh, very important because then you're not tied in the you you're, you're not imprisoned in the golden uh, cage when i was working as a hotel manager in the uk for 4 years i did not own a house 
I was renting, of course. It was my company providing me the accommodation for the last two and a half years. Uh, I did not own a car because public transport was very good. I was living on the premises. I did not feel the need to own a car. I would rent one whenever I would need one, but I did not actually own a car. So all this sort of financial discipline allowed me to build a, a comfortable buffer before I took the big plunge in 2007, 2008, leaving the UK, returning back to India and exploring this field of motivational speaking and coaching and what I'm doing today. So number one was believe that there are better options available. Number two, explore and learn about these better options. Number three, develop the financial discipline so you have the buffer uh, to make major career uh, decisions, major career changes. And number four, have the courage to leave the past successes, past glory, past lifestyle behind. Learn to detach from your own uh, life, uh, previous lifestyle because um, if you really are in love with it, if you don't really have the courage to let go of those comforts, of those um, places, of those people, you probably will not be able to take a step back. So uh, have the, develop the courage to live a detached life and detachment requires courage because uh, they uh, being attached to people, stuff, lifestyle, things, etc is um is is what the weaker part of our uh, mind and um, tends to do so we you really need to develop that muscle there and that will take courage is to practice detachment is to understand that you came here with nothing you will leave with nothing and therefore to not get too overly attached to what is today so that you can go and explore what could be tomorrow and uh, I think finally, one of the main takeaways that emerged from Akriti's story and in any story of personal re reinvention is stick with the fight when you're hardest hit. There are going to be times when you will feel that, uh, why, did I in, why did I make this change? It's not working out as I wanted to. And as she rightly said, focus on your goal, stick with the fight. Reinvention takes time, transformation takes time. Pick something that's worth the efforts. Thank you so much.